understanding conjunctions and disjunctions. So we're going to be graphing compound inequalities now and understanding the differences. So for this first one, we have two parts to it. We have n is greater than negative 2 and n is less than 6. So I'm going to graph it. Zero's right there. Negative 1, negative 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and so n is greater than negative 2. So on the negative 2, I'm going to have an open circle, and then bigger than that. And then I'm going to shade until n is less than 6. So open circle on 6, and it's below that. So it's in between here. So that is where my shading would be on this one. And it's in between the two. For this next example, we have t is less than 0 or t is greater than or equal to 5. So 0 and negative 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Okay, so t is less than 0, so I'm going to put an open circle on 0 and anything below that. So that is the first part. And the next part says t is greater than or equal to 5. So a filled in circle on 5 and anything bigger than that. So again, it's got two parts, but they're split. So you got to be careful on that. This next one we have to look at a little differently because there's something in with the variable. It's negative 3 is less than or equal to m minus 4, which is less than or equal to negative 1. So I need to get the m by itself, so I have to do plus 4 to all the parts. So on either side of either side of the inequalities, we need to add the 4. Plus 4 and plus 4. And then what I have is 1 is less than or equal to m, which is less than 3. And then that is the inequality that I'm going to be graphing. So I have 0 in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. Okay, so if I'm going to graph the ends, we have 1 is important, and it's less than or equal to, so a filled-in circle on 1. And then at 3, it's greater than, so it's an open circle. And then it's going to be anything in between there, because it's bigger than 1, but less than 3. So there's your final answer. In this next example, we've got to do the same thing, but there's more steps. Whenever you have them like this, you solve them the same way. You just have to make sure you do it to everything. Okay, so on every side of the inequality symbols, you need to do whatever you're doing to get everything away from the y. So I'm starting by adding 4 to both sides there. And then the 4's cancel out here, leaving me with 4 minus 2, or negative 2 plus 4, which is a 2, which is less than 3y, which is less than 14 plus 4 is 18. Okay, and then the next thing I need to do is to divide by 3, because that's a 3 times y. So I need to divide by 3 leaving me with 2 thirds is less than y, which is less than 6. Now I'm going to graph that. So I need to find, we'll put 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so when I'm finding 2 thirds, 2 thirds is somewhere around there, and it's an open circle because it's a less than sign. And then 6, 
open circle on 6 because again it's a less than sign and in between that so there's your graph example 5 we have a disjunction which means they're going to point opposite directions and we have two different parts 3t plus 2 is less than negative 7 or 4 negative 4t plus 5 is less than 1 okay so the first thing I'm going to do is solve these subtract 2 subtract 2 and I have 3t is less than negative 9 or subtract 5 subtract 5 negative 4t is less than negative 4. Uh, the next step is to divide by 3 and divide by 3. So t is less than negative 3 or we divide by negative 4 divide by negative 4. When I divide by a negative I need to flip my inequality symbol so that's going to give me a greater than t is greater than uh, negative 4 divided by negative 4 1 so that is the entire inequality so for this first part if we're going to graph it 0 is roughly in the middle there 1 2 3 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and you can continue on so if I graph this first part t is less than negative 3 negative 3 is here open circle less than and it goes on forever in that direction and the other part t is greater than 1 so an open circle on 1 and it's greater than that so I'm going to fill in greater than. So that is your final answer, your final graph. For this last example, we have to do the same thing. So we're going to solve each of these inequalities separately and then graph them on the same graph. Subtract 7. So I get negative 2y is less than negative 6. Or in this one I'm going to subtract 3. And I get 4y plus, sorry, is less than a negative 8. The next step is to divide by a negative 2. So I divide both sides. After I divide that side, I need to divide this side. Now, realizing I've divided by a negative 2, I need to flip my inequality symbol because I divided by a negative. So I have y is greater than negative 6 divided by negative 2, which is 3. Or the other part is divide by 4. So y is less than negative, four, negative 8 divided by 4, which is negative 2. So that is your final inequality. And now to graph it, Uh, so the first part, y is greater than 3, so open circle on 3, and then you go bigger. The next part is y is less than negative 2, so negative 2 is right here, open circle on negative 2, and less than that. So that's your final graph and your final inequality. So those are your notes over understanding conjunctions and disjunctions. Go through the practice problems. Make sure you can do both of these types and graph both of the types. Recognize the differences between the two and then you should be ready for your quiz.